Hey there, you're just in time for the unboxing. I just got this big old box and I'm really excited to find out what's inside. Are you ready? Okay, let's do this. Wow. Okay, that was easier than I thought. Another box. What's in here? <gasps> Another little box. What's in here? <gasps> chicken nuggets. Hey there, little chicken nuggets. Hey, how are you? I mean, hi, chicken nuggets. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. Hosted by Carl. Where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome. Are y'all seeing this? Your eyes are not deceiving you. This is not a dream. This is real life, ladies and gentlemen. I have been blessed today with a box full of nuggets. Chicken nuggets, that is. Look at them. Aren't they beautiful? Golden brown, crispy, delicious. Now, I don't think I treasure anything more right now than these beautiful chicken nuggets. I think I'll name them. This one will be Joshua. This one will be Jonah. Hezekiah, Esther, Zephaniah, and this one is Keith. That wasn't actually chicken nuggets. That was me making a chicken, uh, chicken nugget voice. Chicken nuggets can't talk. Okay, well, I'm gonna eat these, but I'm not gonna eat them without some tasty sauce. So, I'll be right back. Oh yeah, chicken nuggets are my favorite thing in the whole world, especially when I got ketchup. But I do love Jesus more. What in the world? What happened? Who did this? They're right here. They're right here. This ketchup is useless now. It's useless. Hey girl. Did you do this? What? No, what are you talking about? Someone took them, and I'm going to vow to find out who it was. I don't know who you are. I don't know what you want. If you're looking for a ransom, I can tell you I don't have any money. But what I do have is a very particular set of skills. Skills that I required over a very long career. Skills that make me a nightmare for people like you. If you bring back my nuggets, that will be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you, but if you don't, I will look for you, I will find you, and I will tell on you. Oh, oh sorry, Mama. <laughs> I'll call you back. Carl, what's going on? Well, Cassie, I was just sitting here enjoying my day with my chicken nuggets. I said I stood up for two seconds to grab some sauce. I come back, and they're gone. How does this happen? It's gonna be okay, Carl. Okay? How can anything be okay? My life is over. What's the point? I don't see how things can possibly get any worse. Deep breaths, Carl. I can't. Those nuggets are all I have. I treasured those nuggets. Well, I think that's a good segue into what we're talking about. What do you mean? Well, I was reading the Bible today, and I came across a passage that talked about treasure. Treasure? Really? Yep, it was talking about how we can store up treasures in one of two places. Huh, never heard of that. What are the two places? Well, it's either on earth or in heaven. What? Why? Why can't it be both? Well, it says in Matthew 6 that that's not possible. Gotta be one or the other. Huh, that's interesting. I guess I didn't know the difference between storing your treasures on earth and storing them in heaven. There's a big difference. If we store our treasures in all the things we care about on earth, they're gonna rust, fall apart, and they won't last. Well, that's a bummer. But if you store your treasures in heaven, they're gonna last forever, never failing, never falling apart, and never fading away. Okay, earth won't last. Heaven will last forever. But how do I store treasures in heaven? Is there like a secret bank account I need to open? Do I need a password? Is the password foliage? I'm not at liberty to say. Come on, Cassie, tell me, tell me! Tell me! I'm just kidding, Carl. There's no secret bank for storing your treasures in heaven. 
All it means is instead of focusing on material things, you know, things that'll go away, we can focus on things that will last forever. Like styrofoam. The things that God cares about. Okay, so maybe not styrofoam. So like my relationship with God? Yeah, that's one. Telling others about God? Yep. Treating everyone fairly and showing everyone kindness? Mm-hmm. And taking care of people who are in need all around the world. Well, never thought about it like that. I guess I've been putting my faith in earthly things like chicken nuggets. Don't beat yourself up. It happens to everyone. Really? Of course. But once we notice that we're falling short or messing up, we got to focus and try to get back to where God wants us to be. That's why the Bible says that where our treasure is, there our heart is also. If we focus on all these other things, our heart isn't with God. But if our heart is focused on God, then God is our treasure. That's a great way to put it, Carl. I guess I'm learning a lot today about what God wants from me and what God cares about. Yeah, me too. God wants us to focus on what's important by storing our treasures in heaven. And treasure in heaven is not a bank that's in heaven filled with like money and stuff, but it is in fact making sure our hearts are filled with what God loves. That is so cool. I love knowing we can care about what God cares about. Cassie, do you know? Do you know what it is? You just had a big idea! <laughs>